How to type fast on a keyboard. 1. Find the right posture. Your fingers should curve over the keys with your wrist slightly resting on the desk. In other words, don't put too much pressure on your wrists. Sit up straight with your elbows bent. Correct posture helps you to be more accurate, but it also helps lessen strain on your arms, hands, and shoulders over time. 2. Learn or relearn the finger positions. When at rest, your four fingers on each hand rest on certain keys, called the home row or base position. Your left hand fingers should rest on the keys A, S, D, and F, starting with the pinky on the A, while your right hand fingers should rest on J, K, L, and, starting with your pointer finger on the J. By keeping your fingers on these home keys when you are resting, you always know where all the letters are. Additionally, it is easy to reach most of the letters on the keyboard from this position. If you already type using all your fingers, make sure you're always landing on the right keys. If you aren't, practice returning to this position. Most keyboards have a little raised bump on the F and J keys to help you return your fingers to the correct position without glancing down. 3. Know which finger types which letter. Basically, each finger types the diagonal that slants down to the right. For instance, the pinky on the left hand types the letters in number 1, Q, A, and Z, while the ring finger types 2, W, S, and X. Both pointer fingers also type the adjoining row in addition to their own row. For example, the right pointer finger types 7, U, J, and M, as well as 6, Y, H, and N. 4. Use your pinky to hit the shift key. Usually, you use the pinky on the opposite hand of the letter you are typing. You also use your pinky to hit keys like the tab key, the caps lock, and the control key on the left side, as well as most of the punctuation keys, the backspace key, and the arrow keys. 5. Keep at least one thumb on the space bar at all times. You should never have to take both hands off of the space bar at the same time. Keeping a thumb on the space bar means you do not have to shift your hands around to create a space between words, saving you time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.